Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to CAD application class. Uh, students, let's try to draw this V block assembly. You see on your screen a V block assembly, it is on page 176 on of interpreting engineering drawing. So, here you can see you have got how many parts? You have got a base which is very simple, no problems. Then you have got a yoke, we have to draw this yoke. Then we have got a screw, and then we have got a knob. So, we have to create one, two, three, four, four separate parts we have to draw. Then we have to create an assembly of all these four parts by providing proper mates. Okay. So, first let us uh, try to draw this part, that is, let us try to draw this base. So, what is the height of the base? It is 54. What is the width? Width is 50. Okay. Now, let us try to draw this one. Let me just go back to SOLIDWORKS. See here, this is the completed one which we have done already. See here. As a sample, I have done it. You can see it. We have to create something like this. So, let us close this one. Let us close this one. And let us try to open a new file. I will open a new file. It is a part. I will call it as part. Now, let me go to sketch. Let me do smart sketch. Any plane I can select. Let me select the front plane. I will just take the front plane. So, now what I will do is I will just make a box first with the help of construction lines. I will just draw a box here. One minute, let me just do it this way. I have done it like this. So, now what I will do is I will uh, convert all these lines as construction lines. Okay. And then let me make this one as vertical. And uh, all the other lines are horizontal, vertical, everything is there. Now, let me make the sizes. What are the sizes? The size is 50 and 54. Okay. So, let me go and make this dimension from here to here i want it as how much 50 so here click ok and then from here to here i will make it as 54 it's only for reference purpose All right because i have a box within this box i have to draw the uh, my actual drawing now now let me do it now here how much i have got I have got a line of this is 22 correct this is 22 means out of 50 what I have to do now I have to direct 22 and then I will go a little bit up and then up like this so let me just do it here within this box I will draw the line now from here I will come straight like this then I will somehow go this way a little bit up come like this come down then come here, then go here, then again let me see how do I do now, I have to create something like this, is it not, ok, so I will just go up here, little bit, come this way, this way, this way I will go, then I will go up, then I will come here, then I will come down to this point, then little bit down see those dashed lines are showing I can draw something collinear that's the point I will just go here somewhere I will just mark it here then come I'm just drawing a rough profile then close Okay, so when once the drawing is closed, you can see the everything is selected as a shaded line. Okay, now what I will do now, I will establish the relationships now. This one shift, this one, they should be equal in size. So when once I change one size, everything will be fixed. This one and this one, they should, sorry, excuse me. This one shift this one they should be of equal size okay done then what else i need i need this one and this one they should be of equal size similarly this one and 
this one they should be of this one and this one they should be of equal size okay then what else i have i have this shift this this and this all of them are equal in sizes okay and then what else i have this one and this one they should be of equal size as well as they should be parallel okay finish so then what else is there do i have any other thing i'm not really sure so now let us just go and make the dimensions then possibly we will know whatever we have missed let me just go here so this is how much from this corner to this corner this is 22 this is 14 is it not so let me just go here from here to here it is 22 and then from top to here it is 14 okay this is 14 fine so now what else is there now i need to find out this angle he gives me this angle between this line and this line how much is this angle this angle is 45 okay so similarly let me do for the other one also between this and this if you come this side it is i have to make it 45 since i did not establish the relationship there i have to do it two times otherwise only one will be enough okay so now what else i have got this thickness this thickness is how much from here to here this is four okay so let me just go here make this one as between this and this this is how much this is four done see all these things have become black color now okay now let me just go back what is the thickness of this one the thickness of this one is six let me make it a little big how much is this this is six okay this is six fine and then what is the height the height is 20 the height is 20 so now i will just go from here to here he says this is 20 click ok what is the uh, size of this one this is six done so then what else is there then i have got this height from here to here it is 22 it is this me this one to me as 22 okay done so then what else is there this width is anyway 4 here and again this angle is 45 so now let me take between this and this it is 4 click ok and then the angle where is the angle the angle between this line and this line come here make it 45 click ok similarly between this line and this line you can come it it's already 45 no need okay so no need to over define so now i have to give the thicknesses of this one let me just go here and see what is the thickness here this thickness is 5 he gives me this thickness as 5 okay and then the bottom from bottom also the height is 22 that is from here to here it is 22 okay take uh, what is this thickness the thickness from here to here it is 5 take okay done so then what else is there is this line and this line are they not collinear they should be collinear okay so now let me see this line click here shift this line they should be collinear the moment we do it see everything is fixed now now your drawing is completely defined so everything has become black and then it is shaded now let's go back here what is the thickness of this one i have to extrude it by how much i have to extrude it by 
75 if i extrude it by 75 my first part is ready now let me go to features now i have extruded both ways now how much i have to do 75 see here either direction you can do it 75 click ok now see your first drawing is completely ready now just hold the mouse and turn it see here completely it is ready okay so now what i will do now i can give any color here just if you click on the right side appearance and see it's everything here you have what appearance open this one metallic appearance plastic appearance i can open metallic if i open metallic you have so many different metal finishes okay pressed nickel steel satin copper brass polished silver everything is there now let me say it as chromium plated steel or polished aluminium no i will not take it as polished aluminium i will take it as see here i just put it here it did not come let me just go back again polished aluminum just bring it here the moment you drop here you will see the appearance filter just click on that one so it changes the color okay so you can have any color as you want you can just fix it the way you want it okay so now let me save this one as save as what is this one v block base i have already created an assembly so that's why it is showing there i will not do it there i will go back and i will do it in solidworks exercises i will go open here v block assembly is there i will open this one oh sorry there is one more here i will just um i will do it in some other place just uh, for the purpose of drawing i will do it on the desktop itself on the desktop itself i will open a file v block assembly okay i will say v block assembly and first let me create the folder here i will create the folder new folder v block assembly now i will just go and save my draw drawing in save as i will go to the desktop in desktop i have v block assembly i will open it i will save it as base base i will save it as base now this is saved thank you very much for watching this video we will do it uh, each one we will do it separately and then we will use uh, all of them to make the